Once again, today I want to show you how I make conversions for the 9 Watt Max scooters. I'm going to be doing a conversion from 350 Watt motor to uh, 1100 Watt motor using the stack battery, which is 36 volts. So just to show you how to do it, as the, the 1100 Watt I'm going to be showing is the, the motors that I'm actually using in a Wolf Warrior X Pro, which is a 60 volts um, battery capacity. So I'm going to be using the D controller, and it's a lot to explain about it. So the only things I'm going to be explaining about this is just how the wiring is connected, which is all you're going to need to know to do this conversion. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I mean, this is a lot of content that I want to show you guys, you know, that I know I've been trying for a very long time, but uh, uh, until lately, I decided to put it to the public so you guys also get to enjoy and learn, you know, little things that I know. Um, they're very simple. It's just a matter of knowing how to install, how to do things, how to, what wires go together and all that. Part the alcohol, once you, if your scooter is working or, or you buy new parts, everything is ready you don't have to worry about the little things inside the, the controller or anything like that you just need to know where to plug it and how to do it simple as that now before you start doing your conversion upload your firmware and uh, do all your setups that are electronically before actually touching anything else even if you're going to do just a simple conversion that you're going to add 12 volts to a 36b to convert it in, in 48 volts um, for that you need to do your setups before actually touching anything else. With that being said, let's begin. Uh, as we can see, the motor we're going to be using is uh, the Wolf Warrior X Pro, which is a uh, 60 volt. It's a 10 inches 60 volt, 1100 watts, and it's from a Kabu. It's a Kabu Wolf Warrior X Pro. So as we can see, I have the wiring right here. I already did that, um, the attachments for the um, MR60 connector, and it's going straight down there. So as we can see, I mean, the, um, these motors, the, the wiring is on the right side. And, and so is the, the disc and all that. Meanwhile, the nine bolt max is on the left side. So the wiring, the feeling of the wiring is towards the left. Pay attention, the, the wiring I'm going to be doing is going to be for the actual motor, like if this motor was facing the other side, okay? So like if this, uh, this side, it was on the left side. What's going to happen here that the connections that I'm going to be doing here are going to be in, instead of rotate to the front, it's going to go to the back. If you were to install this motor in the 9 volt max and you put this, uh, the, this side and this side, it will rotate towards the front. Okay, so I hope that's clear enough for you guys to understand. And uh, let's begin. It's important for you to pay attention to the, to the connections. So, and as I explained the rotation, this motor is going to run backwards when I do it. But if we flip the motor, it's going to run, it will run in the proper direction. So as we can see over here, I have it connected. Um, I have the yellow mark over here, all the way there. And it's going to be in the single pole. See, it's yellow, and then it's going to be the, and the this, would, if this is the green wire, the, this one. And it goes straight to the center. And then I have the blue on the other side. So as we can see here, once I plug it all uh, together, yellow is gonna go with blue, and blue with yellow. So that's the conversion mainly from the from the controller towards the motor uh, to change rotation. Okay. Now to explain the, the rest of the parts is as we can see this uh, the the Wolf uh, Warrior doesn't need um, the controller doesn't need uh, the whole sensor co connections, and they just stay off. So I'm gonna make all these connections so you guys can see how this works. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say, I mean, it's so simple. I mean, if, if you have your motor, and even though if it's dead, 
is but it's damaged that only all you need to do is uh, cut off that wire this one with this connector and you don't need to go crazy to look for that connection or anywhere else you just simply get it off from the old motor and this will serve the purpose to put it to your new motor or else you can buy this um, um, connections which is the original um, regular motor which is the G1 and G2 so as you can see that's a regular plugs so you can get this one if you if perhaps you were going to be doing the, the front motor conversion and um, uh, you don't have the uh, wires you can actually get this one for about ten dollars from Aliexpress all right guys so now we have uh, the controller over here and we have the rest of the parts so let's begin with the um, with the wiring it's important pay attention okay so we have the black wire with the black uh, from the controller side you're going to seal it red with red So we're doing blue with blue. And then we have, these are the key, the, the key um, wiring guys. So as we can see over here, what I'm doing is, uh, this is the, the, the conversion, okay guys? So look, pay attention. We have uh, the, the, the yellow and the green right here. This is what will um, replay, uh, change the rotation of the, of the motor and the weight it will, it will run. So now as you can see the other wire I'm doing is just, um, the yellow with green. So those are the, the only two wires that you will need to change. You see the conversion over here? Yellow with green and green with yellow. That will change the rotation of the motor let's continue uh, i'm going to be using the decontroller for this setup so you guys see how this works so let's begin with the connection from the from the motor as i was saying you see i have a mark single single pole uh, which is this one it will go connected to a single pole and it's going to be the yellow wire connecting to the blue wire in the controller the yellow wire coming from the controller is going to connect to the blue wire in the in the motor and as you saw the conversion we did with the um, with the wiring that it comes to the from the motor, or which is the whole sensor, uh, that it goes to the controller. So let's plug this up. Simple, right? So now let's bring the battery. So as we can see, it's the original battery, and it's at 36 volts. It's at 36 volts over here. As we can see, that's the original battery from the scooter. So. You guys can see how this works. So my next step over here is going to be um, connecting the dashboard. Now the dashboard, as you can see, I mean, that as I was explaining in the beginning, the, um, you need to run your firmware first before getting to this part. Okay, so uh, you're going to need to eliminate the curves. I mean, uh, even though if uh, you eliminate them, still they're going to they're going to work regardless if this uh, connection is um, is plugged to the um, to the brake lever. So you want to eliminate this part completely and use your regular brake system in the 9 baht originals uh, parts. So what's going to happen here as we can see I mean uh, I'm not going to get any errors in anything because the, I mean the, the controller is already set and uh, if I cut these wires there is no errors or anything because um, I removed the curves. Okay so and I'm going to be using this uh, throttle which is the the charge set, um, the one that come the grip, grip kit, the front charge set, the original throttle that comes with the scooter. Uh, it's difficult for me to do a good one hand and all that, so I decided to use this one. And as well, again, I'm not going to be using a lever because I don't need it. Okay, that's the dashboard. Goes straight down to here. Once you hear the click, 
is ready to go. So now we're gonna plug the, um, the battery connection which goes next to it. Just like that. So we have all the connections ready. So the only thing that is missing to connect over here, I wanna double check that I don't have uh, pill wires because that will definitely damage my controller. So, and you guys will need to see that. As we can see over here that the, the tips over here are out, but they not connect to each other. So it's very important for you guys to do all this um, testing before actually putting this one together, because this one will definitely hurt the scooter or whatever settings that you are doing, and you, don't, you definitely want to avoid that. A little spark when it connects, um, there is no problem at all. So it's just the same that you use in the scooter, so you don't need to you know, wonder what it is. So as you can see, everything is ready. So here we go. See my setups and the battery is fully charged. So let's see. You'll see guys how, how this, um, this motor runs. Let's review one more thing over here, as we can see, I mean, that the motor runs to the back and that's because it's on our side. So, and that's the conversion we did. Uh, we actually, um, see, that, let's go backwards. But once you put the motor in the right side, the uh, nine back uh, goes, this conversion will run in the right way. So that's about it, guys. That's how simple it is. I'm gonna do a little review right now and that's it. Okay guys, a little review of what we did is simple. It comes down to these single steps, okay? So nothing else need to be changed aside of uh, doing the firmware for the, for the scooter. And you know, as you can see, I mean, this is most in, in most uh, motors up from 800 watt and above. So this is uh, basically the conversion you're gonna be using. And, and that is for that particular part that the, the fitting of the scooter and the nine bolt is on the left side, not in the right side, as uh, as most scooters come with with um, <coughs> with um, uh, uh, the rotor in the right side and also the the wiring fitting in that side. As in the Apollo, it's a different story. That is plug and play. All you need to do is plug it straight because it comes in the in the left side. The the wiring fitting and the rotation is right. So that one is simply cut the uh, cut your connector from the from the motor, cut it attach the wires, make your uh, MR60 connection, plug it to the controller, and you're good to go. As we can see, I mean, the, all what we did is to change uh, the wiring connection. The one that comes from the controller, as we can see, yellow, blue, connects to yellow, green will connect to brown, and yellow will go straight to blue and controller. See, like this. See motor, it goes to the to the blue. The blue comes to the yellow, and the green from the from motor comes to the brown, to the to the controller, and that's simple as that. And then what we did is connect uh, 
So you guys can see the blue wires are just connected one to the other and then we have the black wires connected one to the other and then you have the red wires connected one to another and then they, the ones that convert the, the whole sensor also it is the what's going to be is the yellow and the green so that's what you're going to do you see that that will match the, the connections of the others uh, i hope you guys appreciate what i'm you know what i'm showing you right here i mean this is a uh, conversions are very expensive and uh, i mean it's not difficult all you need to do is you know as again as i said cut off this wire from your original motor and then you have the full connection simply to plug it to the to the other side of the controller with the new motor hey guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video and um, i hope it was easy enough for you to understand how the conversion is and as you can see it's very simple and this is going to be your first or second step before you do a dual motor conversion and it's going to be the same situation whatever you do in the, in the rear it's going to work in the front it's a simple conversion as you can see 34 miles an hour on free wheel in this motor with a 36 p so it's a um, it holds up testing in a real road i'm 184 pounds with the gear uh, 192 194 with everything i wear for for i'm testing uh, parts and uh it hits uh, 28 to 30 miles an hour with a single motor on 36 p uh if you go with a different motor maybe it give you different uh, speed or torque uh, it will depend actually on the motor you use i recommend to use the cabo uh, motors which are really good they, they work great and you can find them in motors if you want to get them right here in the us or if you are in another part of the world you can get them actually in aliexpress i i haven't tried the the, the motors that are from aliexpress i always buy them uh, right here in Mini Motors in New York. Hey, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Take care, stay well, ES and Cass.